Unfortunately, it looks like we're losing a bunch of attrition down here. Yeah, we are. Too big an army. Too mighty an army. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to back off. Leave you guys there. Sorry, General Shatterhand. I know you wanted to be in the fight. Might actually promote you as well. General Shatterhand. Promote. Promote. So that now you can get some of these. Although, I would like you to keep getting terrain traits. You're going to get hill fighters soon. You know what? I'm going to make you like the master of terrain fighting. Yeah, true, some of the units do need training. You're not wrong. Sometimes they escape, and I have to round them up again. Oh, I can apparently... Don't look at me. Don't look at me. More behemoths. Part standardization done. Let's start working on these. And more boaty stuff. Yes. Really curious about what that does. Another free dockyard. Alright, continue getting some schooners. That stuff finishes repairing, I guess. Wait, what's powered melee weaponry? Add technology, powered melee weaponry. Um... I'm gonna get that anyway. Through this. So maybe I do want better DACA. No, I, I want to focus the close combat stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I, I don't need to do it that way. The 80s declared war on Vault City. No! I was going to do that! Well, I guess we'll go after the 80s then. Doing for supply now. Perfect. Trireme's done. Let's get Briggs. Let them fight. But if I let them fight, then I'll be able to eat less of them. And this is all about getting the munchies. Nom 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 nom. No, Duke, they're not critical decisions, it's just the quality in quarterly income reports. It's every 30-odd days. It's a bit annoying that it's considered a critical, because it's really not. Because, yeah, I keep seeing that, I'm like, ah, oh, better check that, and then it's nothing. New Reno declared we're on the antelopes. That's not good. While they're fighting the 80s. No, the 80s went after the NTR Rangers. Oh, 80s, you've just doomed us all. Now Caesar's Legion's going to be able to push for sure. Caesar can ally the 80s. Yeah. 
I mean, these two are holding, just about holding out as it is. Now the 80s are going after them. Not a chance. I'm actually quite surprised that they're actually fighting on that border. But judging by how Caesar's Legion's pushing right now, that would be why. Broken Coast declared we're on the Hyder Confederation. Okay. They still need to go after the Dredgers at some point too, and also Bellingham. Oh, these war goals are taking a while. What are the battle caps for in this bottle cap support in this mod? You can spend them on buying guns and slaves and stuff. But the guns seem to be bugs at the moment because the AI just buys them all, so they're never any available. And I've already capped out my slaves. But it's a very new system, so they're going to be using caps for more and more stuff in the future. This is like the first iteration. National focus completed. The first tour apart the armor-clad normals guarding the entrance to Vault 6. Once again proving that the super mutants are the next step in human evolution, the true children of the apocalypse. Vault 6 was home to advanced technology and unthinkable experiments, all buried beneath hardened lava and ash. Now... It belongs to us. Rowdy mutants jeer at each other as they tip over barrels of FEV, filling the rusted halls with a sickly green glow. This time, the Master's vision will be fulfilled. The age of the super mutants has dawned. The first is the new Master. Political power gain plus 30. Construction speed plus 15. Justify war goal time minus 30. Doesn't make us civilized, though. Pretty nice bonus, but not civilized. Alright, so I'm going to go for the Mega Metal Mutants. Who needs DACA? If we build better armor, we can defend against any wimpy bullet. Super Mutants are supreme! We can't die! Don't know why I went suddenly orc there, but it seemed appropriate. I don't actually know if you get anything back if you cancel the justification. No, I don't think you do. But yes, we probably should. No longer get the effects of preparing for War of Supremacy. No, because we are already supreme! Sometimes they escape and I have to round them up again. Something like that. Super mutants, the human evolved orcs. Yeah, kind of are. Oh, still got another 80 days to go. New Reno took three states. Antelope tribe have been annexed. Coach guns. Let's go and get recoil compensation studies. And wood treatment. Mega metal mutants done. The powwow! We have managed to uncover a stockpile of rather useful weapons. Powwows! The smooth skins call them power fists, and they're a force to be reckoned with. 
We need to repair more of these. Anyway, I think what I'm going to be spending points on from now on is basically coring. Oh boy, those are kind of pricey. Because my already cored population is very high. Still got another 4% to recruit. That's gonna be a few. Rig's done. Oh, invasion. Armed craft. Yes, that sounds useful. Broken Coast took two states. Kaido have been confederated. Hey, it's about time. Recoil compensation studies. Long range optics, it is. White Legs declared war on Crazy Horns. Crazy Horns joined the Mormon Alliance. Ooh. Oh no. Destruction of the Ranger Citadel. Rangers the Arizona Wasteland, once the bane of all ranger Start that again. The Rangers of Arizona Wasteland, once the bane of all raiders in Arizona, have today lost their great stronghold. Although the Rangers fought well, defending their beloved Citadel for three days straight against a massive assault and against all odds, it seems the Rangers' favoured tactic of survivalist fighting could not stand up to the swarming ranks of the 80s. Ultimately, the Rangers made this painful decision to withdraw from the Citadel, both to prevent unnecessary loss of life and to ensure that their leadership is not captured in one ex unexpected assault. The Rangers will fight until their last breath. Oh yeah, that's true. I never did finish my land doctrine. You're not wrong. When Naval Ram is finished, we'll go back to it. Yeah, it's now available. Good point. The powwow. We've got powered weaponry available. Let's go and upgrade those. A new thingy majiggy. Right, we can now get the Masters of Mankind, which will boost our infrastructure. We can get the Oregon line. For every level of infrastructure in our own states in Oregon, gain three states. Three slaves, even. For every own core state in Oregon, we have cored. Add 30 manpower. I think we've cored everything in Oregon now. Uh, no. We haven't. I thought we were supposed to get this as cores, weren't we? That was the whole point of my going after Timberline. Huh. Alright, well what are those regions called? Wait, these are all colony states. settlements. Oh, hold on. No, that was Washington Brother. Yeah, okay. I'm further north than I realized. Redmond. Colony. K. 
Camp Sherman, core. Okay. So it was the Washington Brotherhood stuff, which was this little sticky out bit, and then Timberline. So we didn't get to core any of this, even though that is, I thought, in Oregon. Huh? But we have done this, so we're going to do Masters of Mankind. But we could work on these to finish them off. That's another thousand manpower. Okay. Let's go ahead and do Masters of Mankind. Let all who know the true ruler of the North, humanity are just our puppets to toil in the mines and build weapons for us. They are pets and nothing more, just as the old world sought to make us. Right, land doctrine. We're going for purity so that we can get even more special forces modifier. Oh yeah. Right, Cyclops tribe, when's this finish? Come on. Four more days. Huzzah. That went remarkably quickly. Cool. Justification for conquering Paradise Valley also done. New modifier of the first made the other one quicker. Yeah, I, I guessed. Alright, I think we should now start going for New Klamath. Oh. Okay, that's going to be ridiculously quick. So let's just conquer these first. And then we'll be able to reposition accordingly. Because I don't think that this is even going to be a fight. Wood treatment. Uh, right, we're getting new factories. Whoa, that's a lot of flamethrowers we're making. I probably don't need quite that many. I think what I want to do is get more powered fists so I can actually start upgrading my units with powered fists. We've been circled. Uh, we'll fight out of it. It's fine. Let's see, we're doing it now. Oh, no, we won't. Got you now. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. These guys are actually putting up a slightly better fight than I expect. They have a lot of divisions. Crikey. Don't screw with the Shoshone Nation, apparently. High population. Also, I think that you guys are getting overlapped, which is not good. I don't know who's on which. I think Oops. you are attacking this, and you are up here. Yes. Cyclops tribe, take all states. Done. Meanwhile, what are the casualties in that fight? Can't see. Just gonna reload this so I can actually load up the war screen. Because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little bit one sided. Yeah. 
They've lost 2,000, I've lost 91. Craft. That's all of those done. White Legs and New Canaan have signed a white peace. The Day of Judgment. New Canaan in flames. Following weeks of grueling maneuvers, forces loyal to the White Leg banner have reached the city of New Canaan itself. A recent Canaanite counterattack has proven futile and the Canaanites have been forced to withdraw from the outskirts of their holy city. Wide Leg's final assault is underway against the few buildings in New Canaan that resist their grasp. The last holdouts of the Canaanite troops barricaded in the sheriff's building are expected to be crushed within a day. Already, however, New Canaan burned bright on the horizons as buildings have been put to the torch by the White Leg forces. Soon, all that remain of the Mormon holy city will be the twisted metal and scorched stone. A new power emerges in Utah. That's not a white piece. Oh, it is! Canaan in exile! Interesting. Yeah, th th this, this seems familiar somehow. I, I can't quite put my finger on why that's familiar. because I was literally playing Fallout New Vegas with the Happy Trails DLC earlier today on stream. If you're curious about what the hell I'm on about, check out the uh, video from Demand from just earlier. Early Flames Quenched, Recruitable Population, War Support Division Attack. Yeah, you don't have a lot of manpower, crikey. But I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing a certain rise of a certain person soon in Canaan and Exile. Oh, that might be worth playing just for that. How are we doing here? 3,000 kills for 1,000 losses. Shoshone is almost dead. Long range optics. Also, I can deploy some troops. Yes, I can. Uh, I might actually stick you all in there. Head voice, not you. What? All right, my entire offensive army now is behemoths. Oh yeah. All right, that's all taken. So next. I think it's going to be Vault City, Reno, and Luke, New Klamath. Although New Reno is fighting against the 80s, who dared go up against the NCR Rangers, New Reno might well save them still. I'm wondering if I should go against the 80s. Is it time to crump the NCR and the Legion right now? No. So here's what I'm actually trying to do. I'm trying to get down to Caesar's Legion before the NCR dies. Because they are dying and they are dying hard. Tag switch to New Canaan when you're done with this, just to see their path. Oh, I... We've already seen it. Like, we went through the uh, focus tree in some detail. It's, it's not a hidden one. Never seen the NTR AI win. They came so close this game. It's literally just because the 80s went after the NTR Rangers. If they hadn't, I actually suspect that the NTR would have held at least until Rio Grande came to their assistance, although Rio Grande have lost their crossing. Damn it. They need to do something about this war, because this one just lasts forever. And if Rio Grande's, like, stated goal is to go after the uh, Caesar's Legion, they never do. 
because they just get so bogged down in that one. And everyone dies. Like, there's no victor from that war. Where is he? Where is he? Oh. No. Oh, wow. NCR's Legion of... 101,000 losses. Crikey. Actually, I guess Caesar's Legion's lost 55,000. They have put up a fight. Ah, it's this one. 40,000 losses for 78,000. If I kill Nurino, I have a border with Caesar. True. But if I kill Nurino, then it's very, very likely that the NCR Rangers and the NCR die. Because Nurino, I think, is the reason that uh, the 80s haven't taken out the Rangers yet. So what I think I need to do is declare war on the 80s, Nurino, Vault City, New Klamath at the same time. We have an objective. All right. Let's do this. So I need to get a war goal against just one of you guys right now. That'll take 15 days. 65 days. 15. So I can go against New Klamath and the 80s at the same time. New Klamath will pull in everyone else. That's 10 days. Sweet. Oh, it's 30 days. Never mind. Um... So many staring eyes. You are going to be responsible for giving the 80s a black eye. Sit up waiting. You are going to be responsible for taking out. Oh, I can actually do a line against them. That's good. Wasn't sure I'd be able to. Sit up waiting. Why not Bob City? So many staring eyes. You do a line against that. Huh? And you do a line against that. And 